this is a short video on how to use uh, the drum uh, replacement tracking logic which can be found on the track and then replace or double drum track uh, the shortcut is control D the drum replacement doubling window looks like this uh, one important thing to know when you're in this window is that the spacebar doesn't work anymore so instead use this pre-listen button and as you can hear that we now have an additional MIDI snare drum. Uh, on the left hand side, uh, you can see a number of different, in this case, acoustic snare drums. So I can press pre-listen and then just scroll through them. At the top of the window, you can decide what type of instrument it is that you want to replace, either kick drum, snare, tom, or other. Uh, this window here is related to the trigger note window here. So if you have your own sample set that you want to use, you can instead customize this. The relative threshold uh, decides uh, what transients are going to be uh, triggered so if we have a closer look at this region here we can see that these are the snare hits uh, but we also have some kick bleed in between so if I turn down the threshold all the way down and press pre-listen and then we can hear that the snare drum is triggered by all of these transients okay so let's turn that up again Uh, the timing offset uh, offsets uh, the timing of the trigger note, uh, and that can be useful if you're using your own sample set or a third party like Tune Track or similar. Uh, so if we then go, okay, you now get uh, a MIDI file here, a MIDI region with both velocity and timings, of course, and we get an EXS sampler here with, in this case, acoustic snare D1. If I instead select replacement, uh, the only difference is it will mute the original audio file. So the result is more or less the same. Okay, thank you.